beautiful people. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me. And I definitely appreciate that. To all the new people stopping by my channel, hi, you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you're notified each time I post a video. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey, y'all. So today's vlog is going to be how I style my daughter's hair. Her hair type is 4C. And so if you want to see how I do a quick and easy style on her hair for less than $2, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so we are starting off on freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. Um, you can use whatever shampoo that you like. You can use whatever deep conditioner you like. Um, I am right now just going in and trying to figure out how I am actually going to style her hair. I am eventually going to do corn rolls. I know that when I do this on her hair, it not only last for a whole week but it also helps with her curl pattern and so right now i'm just going ahead and parting it because i have finally figured out how i am going to style her hair Since Leah's hair is so thick, it's easier for me to start off with it in sections. So that's what you're seeing right now. I'm just taking one of these lobster claw clips and I have half of her hair, um, you know, just kind of tied up on the side. And that way I can focus on one side at a time. And so once I finish parting this section, you'll also see me clip her hair as well, just so that way I don't get any extra pieces that aren't supposed to be in this section in this section. So I am going with a protective style. It just makes it so much easier during the week for me to do this. And so I am going in with a little bit of my Murray's edge control. And that is what I'm using to kind of set her braids along with some argon oil to make sure that her hair continues to retain the moisture. And so as you can see, I am just corn rolling her hair to her scalp or braiding to the scalp, whatever you wanna call it, that's what I'm doing. I also like to do this like little twist method as I'm braiding, so you may not be used to this or have seen this before. I like to do this because when I do take her hair down, I typically take it down after maybe five or six days. And so for one day, she gets to wear it kind of curly and loose. And so this will help once the twist out is complete to make sure that the curls are actually in a spiral. Um, bas yeah, basically in a spiral when I take it out. Now, even though Leah's hair is going to be in a protective style, I still braid her hair all the way down to the end. I do not stop halfway just because I want her entire head to have that trained curl pattern.
And so like I mentioned, I like to braid Leah's hair all the way down to the very end. However, I do not like to put a lot of tension on the nape of her neck as well as her edges because I like to protect those. And so you'll see that I'll be leaving just a little bit of the back of her hair out just because I don't want any stress or strain on her hair as well as when I braid the front as well. I like to make sure that I have it as flat as possible and sometimes Leah will squinch up her face because I've noticed when she does squinch it up it kind of relieves that tension that's at the front of her head so when she finally relaxes her edges are not screaming so that's just a little tip that I like to use but like I said this is a very very simple hairstyle and it takes no time to do. Okay, you guys, so it's about an hour later and I am officially finished braiding Leah's hair. Um, and I am going to go ahead after I finish, well, basically I am finished, I'm going to go in with my next step, which is actually securing her braids together with a scunty or just some type of hair band, whatever is up to you. So I'm just going in with one of these. Um, I got these from Walmart. It's super simple, super easy and I just put it in a little ponytail at the end. I am going in with the infamous jumbo braiding hair. This was $1.99 at my local beauty supply store. You can either buy it pre-stretched or you can buy it just the way that it is. And since it is not stretched, I am going to go ahead and stretch the hair. That way when I go ahead and make this into a jumbo braid, it is kind of like a tapered at the end and it looks more natural. So here is how I I am just going in and stretching the hair. So I'm just pulling individual pieces out just to make it all nice and neat. Once that's done, since this does have a rubber band, I am going to attach that to the actual ponytail that I just made just a few moments ago. And so once I have the jumbo braid attached, I will start the process of actually making one big jumbo braid. You can actually split this hair in half and maybe do it smaller. But for me, with what I'm trying to achieve, I'm just doing a big jumbo one. You can also pre-braid this and dip it in some hot water to make sure that there's no flyaways. I'm not doing that just because I just needed something quick and it was already late when I was doing Leah's hair. So I'm just gonna braid this all the way to the end and twist it around, make making it in one nice, cute little bun in the back of her head.
One thing you can't forget about a nice breakdown protective style is those baby hairs, y'all. So I'm just going in with this cute little brush comb duo thingy that I got from um, my local beauty supply store. I've seen some people just use like a toothbrush, but this is what I'm doing to swoop down her edges. And I'm just using a little bit of my Gorilla Snot as well as my Murray's Edge Control to achieve the baby hair look. Well, y'all, that is going to be it for this vlog. As mentioned, this is Leah's hair um, in a protective style. Like I said, her hair type is a 4C. And this took me probably about an hour to do. It's super easy. And like I said, it will last at least for a week. But yeah, y'all, that is going to be it for this video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you never miss an upload, you guys. And until next time, you guys, I'll see you on the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye.